Welcome guys to another Profile Tree video. So today we're going to be going through the best Chrome extensions for a business. So without further ado, we're going to go ahead and get started. So of course, the first thing I want to cover is to actually gain an understanding of what a Chrome extension is or what Chrome extensions are. So a uh, Chrome extension is basically a way to improve user experience or modify and add functionality to the Chrome browser. They're created using web technology like HTML, CSS, JavaScript, or any other coding software available. Now the aim of an extension is to serve a single purpose around which the whole program is built. An extension should have minimal interface or extend to a web page. Now extension are zipped into a CRX package. So the user would actually have to download the package and install it. So of course, when, when you, uh, once you do click the add to Chrome, you will get like a little CRX file and that disappears and you get your extension. And of course you guys will now be asking what exactly is the need for a Chrome extension uh, for a business. So we'll go ahead and take a look at the different Chrome extensions available for a business and see how well it copes and how handy is it for a business. So starting off with the first one here, we've got Team Password. Now, uh, if your company has several team members accessing the same online account, then this may be the best extension to pick. Now you can also manage and share uh, access to all the apps and services and tools the, um, on a regular basis for carrying out business functions. So what we'll do is we'll actually take a look into the Chrome extension itself and just see how well, it, how well it fares out. So now that we are on the Chrome Web Store, all you would need to do is search for the extension on the top left there in the search bar and filter out for the extensions. You'll find the first one there, which is Team Password. So just go ahead and click on that. And all you would need to do is add to Chrome. And that would be it. It'll probably redirect you to another page, depending if they have their own site. So this is how it looks. Of course, you can go through a quick overview on it. And pretty much just check it out. So this is the overview. Of course, they have their bits and pieces there. And of course, you can check the reviews. But anyway, what we'll do is we'll actually go through the extension itself. So the way to do it is you'll have a little button with the extensions and it's the top right there it's just called extensions little puzzle piece and then we'll just go ahead and select the team password now this is what it looks like of course you can sign in with google and if we do sign in with google that's our one there i'll go through this process now then pretty much uh you'll get this screen and you could either if you have an account of course you can log in or if you don't, you can go ahead and sign up. So once you've signed up or logged in, this is what you'll receive. So it'll, be, be, uh, it'll basically say if you want to look through the client logins, internal logins, or both types. And this is the people that you can invite. These are the client logins as well. You can skip the process for this. So this is where you would check all your logins. Um, within profile tree, of course. So it's pretty much easy to use. And then depending on what site you're at, you're able to use that extension as well. As you can see for the logins. So that's an easy uh, way to access. Uh, of course, there are other ones that you may want to consider apart from team password. So depending if you want to share some files, uh, there is another one that is available. And I personally use this as well. It's called LastPass. So this is a password manager and it's very, very handy for a business to have. Uh, of course, there are multiple different passwords to be keeping and you can lose track. So highly recommend to use LastPass. Uh, of course, it's only a free password manager and basically banks and vaults the password for you. So if I go ahead and click on this, this is what you'll see. You can view the password on, uh, let's just say I was using Teamwork and of course, I can go ahead and go through it. 
you've got um, password generators as well. So depending on the length, you can increase the length if you want. And within you, uh, you got your own vault as well, or you could view your recent um, passwords or your favorites. And of course, you would have your account. And if you do go for a premium version for about three dollars, you can advance to like a LastPass premium. And then you'll get unlimited device accesses, one too many sharing, and dark web monitoring as well. So that's another great little uh, extension, uh, which I highly recommend. Of course, you can share passwords about um, without needing to um, look through security. This would probably be the best bet. Anyway, we'll go ahead and check out the other uh, extensions out there. So our next one here is Calendly. Now, if you are struggling to stay organized, this is the extension that is highly useful for scheduling. So it gives you a quick access to your events and pretty much you can simply select your events or check the available times and embed them into a email for one um, on one click. Anyway, you can also synchronize your calendar data with your CRM system and can be integrated for PayPal, Google Analytics, or so on. Anyway, we'll go ahead and check out the Calendly. So this is our um, extension on the Chrome Web Storage, which is Calendly. So all you would need to do is scroll uh, or just select the Add to Chrome. And depending on how the extension does it, it might link you to another uh, link for the site or it'll as you can see so pretty much just says that Calendly is now installed and as you can see uh, it's a productivity extension so it just manages everything you need and if I go to the extension for Calendly I can go ahead and sign in so I could just log in with Google as well or create my own account so as you can see, this will allow Calendly to see, edit, share, and permanently delete all the calendars you can access using the Google Calendar. So um, of course, um, let me just actually show you that screen. So referring back to it again, so basically, as you can see, you could edit, share, and permanently delete all calendars using the Google Calendar. And then of course, you have to make sure that you allow uh, Calendly to do all this. So once you click allow, all you would need to do then, of course, uh, I don't have an account set up and I'll go ahead and go for it now. So this is where you can sign up or log in with Google. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and create an account and we'll see what happens from there. So now that we've went through it, through all of that, um, it's obviously showing us where we're at. This is the sort of check-in that we need to do. Okay, so uh, it'll show you the available times, basically. So Monday to the Fridays, nine to five. Okay, and then, so what is your day-to-day -day rule? And then you would just say that, let's just say we are a other. Okay, so once that's all completed, you'll get the extension to tell you so you've successfully installed the Calendly extension to easily access it select the extension to the right of the address bar and pin it so that's pretty much how that looks so then you can go ahead and pin your item so just do that and pretty much just pin it so it's as easy as that to use Calendly of course you it monitors as well what sort of meetings you have and takes notes of everything on your calendar so it says there that I have a one-to-one -one 30 minute meeting. So that's actually a live one uh, for the calendar. So that's pretty much just how that works. And of course, depending on how many more meetings you have, it'll list it all there. And you can copy that link or use a single use link. Anyway, that's pretty much what that extension looks like. So we'll go ahead and move on to the next one. So our next extension here is List Goal. Now, of course, um, if you have any email marketing, this may be the extension to use. So this goal is an email marketing tool that integrates with the web's top email providers. And the extension carries out real time health monitoring uh, to check and see if there's any issues with your list. 
Anyway, what we'll do is we'll go ahead and have a look at what the overview and just check out the list goal itself. Now, of course, this may be the one to consider. So here we are on the Chrome Web Store. So this is list goal here. And this is basically what it shows, whether there's um, spam, any issues with IP, uh, the deliverability rate. So you have pretty much everything you need. It also just monitors everything uh, you need. So it looks like here. So as you can see, they've got real time uh, health monitoring. So that's pretty much just like if there's any issues with the list, uh, sizes out and checks your goals. And you've got, it tracks the emails. And there's one there, if, especially if you have a webinar coming up then that's what it's perfect for. So again, uh, the way to add this in is just to select add to Chrome, then add that extension in. Takes a little minute there. So that'll go away. Go to the extensions here. And there's list goal there. Of course you can pin that as you can see. Uh, so that's pretty much just the overall of Let's Goal. Anyway, that's the pro productivity that you could do for it. Uh, anyway, if you are wondering if you need to remove it, uh, you could just select the Remove from Chrome. And just like so, you can go ahead and remove the extensions. That's for those who are wondering. Now, there are other ones available out there similar to Let's Goal. So there's a focus to do as well. So the, a couple of the to do lists they have. And there's a. Um, there may be similar ones, especially with monitoring email marketing. Unfortunately, I don't have uh, a demonstration to sh actually showcase this goal, but it is recommended for those doing email marketing. So anyway, we'll go ahead and move on to our next extension. So our last one here is Converge Hub Lead Generator. So if you want to capture sales on social media platforms, this is the extension for you. So this extension enables you to directly capture leads, um, some web top uh, webs, uh, top social media networks and email platforms. And then you're able to save names, phone details, emails, and a whole range of other detail. Now you can save these leads on your extension as a follow up for later. It's also equipped with duplicate checking intelligence to prevent you from wasting time in putting details. So that's what's really good about that. So if you're going on Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, as you can see, uh, it just saves the details. So what I'll do is I'll actually go ahead and add this extension in. So we'll just move on to our next screen. So then I will search up Converge Hub. So Converge Hub. And this is the lead generator. All you need to do is add that to Chrome. And if I, let's just say we do one from LinkedIn. So that's what it looks like. And we'll log into a LinkedIn and see if that actually works. Okay, so unfortunately we are having an issue with the actual extension itself. Uh, maybe a little bug, it just keeps clicking on and off. But if you could see here with the uh, one that I'm demonstrating anyway, as you could see, it actually goes to LinkedIn. So this is the LinkedIn one. Uh, this is what I actually wanted to show. And it basically showcased the name, title, company, phone number, email, website, address, and even a, a description. And you could save the CRM, basically, and have it saved for a follow-up. So depending if you're, let's just say, you're wanting to hire people, then it would be a great way to actually follow up on some of the ones that you uh, want to take on, depending if they're CVs or anything like that. Or it's just a great way to track some details, especially if you're running a company and you want to take and input some de um, some details for a database, then that's what's good about having the Converge Hub. Just it saves you a lot of time, a lot of effort. And what's great about this is it's 100% free. So it's free for a lifetime. You could do whatever you want with it, um, especially with collecting uh, data. Now folks, that reaches the end of the video. Now, there are literally thousands of different uh, extensions available for small business owners or business owners in general. Of course, each extension will uh, best suit you and your business, uh, depending on the 
uniqueness and variety of what your business offers. So just have a look and see what different extensions you can use. Uh, of course, it is going to be a game of trial and error. And usually an extension doesn't work. You may find something else that's different, just like I did with uh, Team Password. And then obviously I, I more prefer LastPass. So it's just finding the right extension for you. Uh, of course, don't be discouraged if you don't find the perfect uh, Google Chrome extension for your business on the first try. So just keep trying new ones and don't be afraid to tinker around with it. Uh, anyways, guys, if you have any questions at all, make sure to leave them down in the comment section below. And of course, if I've left anything out as well, do leave, do leave it in the comment section below. Uh, anyways, yes, that's all I have for you today. I'll see you guys for the next video. Thank you very much.